Hi guys, I'm here to share my strategy on lecture 8 so that you can excel it in your next SSB because being there done that, I know those 3 minutes were the longest 3 minutes of my life. Uh, so I'll provide you with a quick tip, you know the basic pillar of any good lecture 8 is the competence and confidence. Competence is basically your knowledge base. While you can couple it with your confidence, the way you deliver it, you will do wonders. So, some basic oil cues that needs to be taken care of while you are giving lecture eight. The speed of decision. While you are given the four topics, you are supposed to decide as quick as you can so that you can prepare your next material and the lecture eight in the subsequent minutes, right? So, for that... Uh, you also need to have a reasoning ability so that you can explain the significance, be it international, national or uh, social significance. The next comes is the organizing thoughts. The clarity of thoughts would help you to sail through that power of expression. Last but not the least is the liveliness. The way you deliver it and the way you walk down the aisle once you complete your lecture eight. So these are the things that needs to be taken care to deliver a good lecture rate. And uh, so here's a card with me. It says, uh, you know, you're given a card and uh, for the next three minutes, you're supposed to prepare for it. Here's my card. It says India-US relation as the first topic. Second one is DRDO. The first topic that I just said, it's an international relation topic. Second one, DRDO is a national significance. The third topic, women empowerment is a social topic. And the fourth one, my summer vacation is a miscellaneous topic. For the topics that I've just spoken, I would like highly recommend you to select the first to third topics. Reason being, you know, you will be able to showcase your knowledge. As I already mentioned, Competence and confidence is the key. For all the international relations topic, you're supposed to speak in a channel. So my strategy was to use the five T's. In the illustration of India-US relation, if you speak on the first five T, the trade, technology, tourism, terrorism and traditions, so these are those five T's that needs to be taken and these five T's would cater all of your demands right from your BRICS, SCO, India, US, India, China, India, Russia. You can fit all of your international relation topic in these five T's. Like I'll give you an example. For this India, US relation, the trade, which is around $130 billion, a little bit of homework that needs to be done, just a basic amount of trade between the major economies and the neighboring countries. This will also help you in the group discussion part. Trade, I've spoken, technology for the technology part, Artemis Accord, NASA, ISRO, and Semiconductor Industry, which was recently signed. They have invested 2.75 billion in India. This could be quoted for the tourism part, either medical tourism, or the basic tourism could be quoted. For medical tourism, you need to do a little bit of homework. Go find out. It's again a lecture eight topic. The next comes is the terrorism. Under the terrorism part, basically the idea is how would you, you know, work collectively for the forces or in a synergized manner. For this Malabar exercise, Vajra Prahar, Yudhabhyas could be quoted for the free open and navigation, free open and Indo-Pacific region that was the terrorism so that was the terrorism part and last but not the least is the traditions traditions you know basically it stems that india has a huge indian diaspora and that diaspora clearly influenced the social fabric of united states as we have seen in the recent times the policy stance of united states have been much lenient or a little easy on india that speaks volumes about its political, how political or domestic politics is being affected if you have good traditions, good people to people ties. Last but not the least, in those last 30 seconds when you're supposed to sum up your topic, give out an overview, provide the challenges, way forward ahead, just a couple of statements and you're good to go for a good lecture. Stay tuned for the next topic of national significance and the 
social topic i'll provide a similar backbone for all your lecture topics thank you